Um, good evening, everyone. Uh, today we are trying to solve uh, our most main focus is on uh, calculation of the height of the wave and uh, using that data for a future, like uh, learning the insights from the data. As a data scientist, we um, uh, are mainly focused on like not only just collecting the data and getting the useful insights from the data. So. Today we are trying to find out like uh, the way, height of the wave in the oceans, but uh, at first I thought like it's a simple issue. It just can be calculated using an accelerometer. I can get it just uh, getting the magnitude of this accelerometer, ac acceleration vectors, and subtract with the gravity, and you can get all those things. But it's not as simple as you as we think. Mm, so we encountered a few difficulties over there. So. We try to solve that problem using a different kind of approach called uh, sensor fusion. Uh, instead of focusing on one sensor, since we have uh, five different types of sensors on the PyCom, uh, we are trying to use uh, two different uh, sensors uh, to make an optimized or uh, correct solution of the height of the wave. This is uh, by doing, uh, we are taking Kalman filter into consideration as, as an optimization algorithm. So basically what Kalman filter do is it has uh, it's basically computes the current state and calculates the error, calculates the gain and updates its state and finally uh, after a few iterations it try to reach uh, optimized state which is the height we are going we are we need to, we are going to expect. So there is more of mathematics than the hardware implementation here, so we are trying, uh, we wrote Kalman filters uh, algorithms to wrote all these things, but we also have a limitation, a little bit hardware limitation with the PyCom. Uh, in the calculation of acceleration vectors, uh, we are able to get only pitch and roll from the PyCom hardware, so we cannot actually demonstrate because the rotation matrices, uh, all the things we cannot compute uh, at the moment. So we try to simulate. And yeah, it's, that's all. And after that, uh, using that data, we are going to, um, let's say after the calculation of the height using this Kalman filter, we're gonna pump this height to a Torsi tjn uh, wave equation so that it will convert the wave in a time domain to a frequency domain which is basically in a, into the spectral and it is like a spectral analysis of the wave so it's like how energetic is the wave how far it can so, so you can we can get a lot of useful insights from the spe, uh, frequency domain because uh, we have a very lot of noise when you consider a time domain so we try to do uh, the coding but uh, unfortunately we are able to get so this is like uh, if you have a normal oh, from the Kalman filter once the height is optimized uh, height is estimated then that Kalman filter once is converted into a spectral uh, domain then it will looks like that can you cancel that? then Uh, this is the actual time domain. Like, if this is considered as the level of the wave, and in terms of time, how the level of the wave is going to vary, these kind of uh, simulations we try to make. But this is purely a mathematical model. But we need to simulate the hardware. It will gonna take little more time. 